Hi everybody, Ray Hayden here, and this video is a re-review of the SIX MOU uh, action camera. And the reason for this one is because, specifically, one of the things I had a problem with is you couldn't use external power to run the camera, and actually you can because it came with two batteries, and both of them here are not in the camera but in a little charging box that I have charging up. At the same time I'm charging these batteries, um, I'm also running, I'm also charging two other sets of uh, microphones. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm charging those batteries and I'm charging a set of microphones, plus I have another power cord coming out directly to the camera to run that. Now, I, just, I made another uh, video where I was just practicing with the thing and I made a discovery there's two microphones on it. There's one right on the front of the camera, right next to the lens, and there's one right on top of the camera. So I guess if you're like behind the camera doing some voiceover, that's gonna carry over the top of the camera and it's gonna pick that up. Alternatively, if you put your finger up there, you're gonna be covering the microphone and it's gonna sound a little bit muted. But this video is kind of a test. The, the It is not 4K60. I have it set up to do 4K60, but it is not. And I still can't put an external microphone or a wireless microphone on the camera. It just it doesn't connect. You know, I turn it on, doesn't, you know, it has to be like a Bluetooth microphone or something like that. So maybe I have to try other microphones and maybe they will connect. But in all honesty, when I push the little push screen on the back to activate the wireless microphone, it doesn't even activate it. Like it looks, it looks, it looks, it does absolutely nothing, and it defaults back to the main screen like it's gonna uh, record. Now the other reason I really wanted this particular action camera is it had a front facing screen so I can make sure that I'm at least in the shot or close to it. Um, it's the square postage stamp thing that you get on the camera but at least it's something I can visually see and it's actually live. The motion that I see is live, it's not delayed. This particular camera also has an app, there's an app for that and you can uh, download that to, uh, it's very very basic, it's like the GoPro Quick app, that's this version for this particular camera, and it is very, very basic. You don't have a whole lot of option ability with it, but it does do things, and it certainly gives you a much bigger screen to look at, so you make sure you're in the shot and all that. As far as the audio goes, you're gonna to need to be really close to the camera, which it's an action camera, has a wide angle of view, so we are close to the camera to get the shot. I'm in my bathroom here again because of the tile walls, the glass mirror, the hard uh, glass on the shower stall back here. So it should be an echoey mess. Now I don't have any microphones with the noise reduction technology on it. So if it's echoey, I would expect that. But if the camera has the technology built in it for noise reduction, I'd greatly appreciate that. And that would help reduce the amount of echo from a room like this. The other thing that we can do if we're in an echo chamber kind of thing and we have either towels or uh, soft blankets and some kind of things to hang them over and everything, then you can do that and that will absorb the sound. Anything soft cloth material, not right up against the wall, away from the wall a little bit and everything else, and out of the shot, of course, that would reduce the echo of the room and that's a great uh, thing to have. But even though the 4K60 uh, really isn't, and even though the quality of the video isn't as great as I would hope to have had had, um, it can be uh, useful. It can be a useful camera and I think that you can do it. I think I gave it three stars. I might give it three and a half to four at this point, but it's certainly an improvement. Uh, I also think this is a pre-release kind of camera or a private label kind of camera where somebody makes it and then if somebody sees it, then they can tweak it to their own specifications where they can make it really 4K 60 or they can get rid of that and make it just 1080p or whatever. Um, and they could add the uh, potential to add microphones to it, either through the USB cable or other means necessary, uh, or maybe even their own branded microphones kind of thing, which would probably also be uh, private label microphones. But anyway, so that's it. That's gonna wrap up this test. But I think that this, microphone, this, uh, this little action cam can be useful, um, but I don't think the video quality is anything close to my GoPro. And I'm not necessarily happy about the mandatory proprietary dongle with the GoPro. I'm not, I'm not happy about that at all, actually. So um, a lot of things to look at going down the road. But uh, this one here is actually a little bit better than I thought it was. 
and the fact that I can run it on power without the battery at all, that's fantastic. All right, so uh, if that's gonna wrap this one up, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, like the video, make a comment below, let me know you came by to say hi. And if you haven't already done it, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate the growth on the network. And uh, until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.